rest of the story. Seven-year-old Donnell McLucas loved to go grocery shopping with his mother because she let him help, even let him push the shopping cart for her. On one of those shopping excursions, 1987, uh, the cart little Donnell was pushing accidentally fell over onto his hand, and part of one finger was actually torn off, clinging only to a tendon. The boy was rushed into the care of one of the nation's finest plastic surgeons, Dr. Bruce Kramer, whose practice was right there in St. Louis. Dr. Kramer had taught plastic and reconstructive surgery at Washington University Medical School for some time, enough time to have become acquainted with a wide variety of surgical situations, and in this particular situation, he smelled trouble. He promised the boy's mother that he would do what he could to save Donnell's finger, and he did do everything possible. Staff present in OR agreed his reattachment was a mess. Masterpiece, and immediately following surgery, Kramer's handiwork did seem miraculous, but the surgeon himself was reluctant to accept congratulations yet. And indeed, within hours, the restored tip of the little boy's finger had turned blue and swollen. Kramer confided the problem to the youngster's parents. He had sutured the arteries together, which provided blood flow into the fingertip. But the veins in the finger were too small to repair during surgery, and so there was no way for the blood to circulate and escape. If Donald's finger was left this way, he would lose it again, and this time forever. Was there nothing that could be done, the child's frantic mother asked. Yes, there was one hope. The renowned Dr. Themison had been consulted, he had referred them already to a non-physician, a therapeutic specialist named Heruto Medicinales. And Heruto Medicinales was brought in, and as he labored over the little boy's disfigured appendage, Dr. Kramer explained the procedure to Donnell's mother. An incision was being made in the distended fingertip. Anesthetic was injected into the incision, and then an anticoagulant to keep the blood from clotting, and then a vasodilator to keep the blood vessels open, and in this way, and only in this way, could the accumulated blood be safely and effectively drained away. The treatments, 25 of them, lasted two weeks, proved completely successful thanks to Haruto Medicinales, without whom no doctor on earth could have helped. Little Donnell McLucas has a complete fourth finger on his left hand now and with new veins that grew during his treatments because of a medical referral from the late, great, long-dead Dr. Themison. Themison of Laodicea, who practiced medicine in Greece a hundred years before the birth of Christ and who was the first physician we know of to suggest, Herudo Medicinalis. No, not a doctor, a creature. A creature which makes its own incision, produces its own anesthetic and its own anticoagulant and its own vasodilator, as no human doctor could, for the meticulous preparation for the draining of blood. And yes, Herudo Medicinalis is being widely used once again, particularly in plastic surgery. Herudo Medicinalis, once a symbol of life-threatening quackery, now an irreplaceable modern medical miracle, as old as then and as new as now. Herudo Medicinalis. The leech. The live medicinal leech. And now you know the rest of the story.